The International Justice Mission is calling for regular police patrols on the Volta Lake to help deal with the menace of child trafficking and the use of children for hazardous work on the lake. In an interview joining us, the Director of Advocacy, Leonard Akon, said Ghana is making progress in the fight against the menace. Ghana joined thousands of churches across the world to commemorate IJM's Freedom Sunday, a day set aside to highlight the ills of trafficking. Maxwell Abgaba was at some churches that commemorated the day and has come through with this report. In spite of efforts to completely eradicate the menace of trafficking and the use of children on Lake Volta, some perpetrators continue to outwit state security agencies. Two years ago, I met a 10-year-old boy who was rescued by police after he was used for many years by his boat's master for fishing activities. He was part of a group of children who were rescued. He told me the boat's master had taken him to an island community along the Lake Volta under the guise of funding his education. He told me a boy who he lived on the same compound with died after he was forced to dive into the lake. It is Freedom Sunday and here at the Lashibi EP Church, some of the members are happily taking pictures with inscriptions that condemn trafficking. Freedom Sunday provides churches with the opportunity to deepen the understanding of God's heart for justice, discover the realities of modern slavery and join the fight to end it. Director of Advocacy for IJM in Ghana, Leonard Akun, urged members of the church to join the fight for justice. Now just imagine that your son does not know how to swim and is taken on, on an island community which is about 3,000 square miles away from where he used to live to work on this water lake for about six to seven days. Just imagine that it is your daughter. Also just imagine that your son does not know how to swim and is made to work on this Volta Lake in a leaky canoe boat and is made to go into the deepest part of the lake to dive into the lake to disentangle there. Just imagine that it is you or it is your son. Your son doesn't know how to swim, your daughter doesn't know how to swim, but is made to go through this situation just for the benefit of the fisherman. Now, this is the reality of what children on the Vortale go through on a daily basis. He's calling for regular police patrols on Lake Volta to deal with the situation. He's deploying police patrol boats on Lake Volta. That is one thing that will end this because, I mean, Lake Volta is huge and massive and deploying police patrol boats to basically arrest people exploiting children and to stop people from exploiting children um, on the Lake Volta is, is one of the surest ways to end this problem. So police patrol boats on Lake Volta, um, every single angle or every single part of Lake Volta, we deploying police patrol boats on Lake Volta is what will end this problem. And I am very sure that Lake Volta will be free of um, exploitation of children. At the Hope City Church in the Sioux, members sang justice songs to commemorate the day. Gospel musician, who is also a member of the International Justice Mission Ghana, Eugene Zuta, talked about getting justice for the oppressed and how Christians can help in that regard. Who can help Kofi, help him with his education and all that. You know how the narrative goes. And so took Kofi from the, from the family and then sent him to a village that is near the Volta Lake.